Oh, you're up. It's good to see you back on your feet. Did you like your room? I cleaned it for you. Really cool, man. Yeah, entitlement. Everybody likes that. Everybody likes an entitled person who doesn't know how to say thank you. You know, I was about to not mention the petroleum bomb you used to grill that man alive. But since you're a psychopath anyway, fuck it. Nice grilling. Insane, but effective. Also, you and your partner are staying here free now. I'm not gonna let you ruin it for him. This establishment supports cops. Even cops like you. He thinks it weak to renege on the courtesy he already decided to pay you. Moral superiority is important to him. Thank you, sir. And he appreciated your clean room, by the way. He just likes to act like he doesn't. Well, anyway. Oh, you know, people don't tend to stick around after shootouts. Turns out they're not good for business. I don't remember everyone who comes here. And many people wear sunglasses inside lately. Must be a fad. Yeah, I was, yeah. That's because I'm a bad ass. It really took courage. Don't pick at him. Yeah, I don't know. Clients were panicking. And also, I guess I sort of found out that I don't give a shit if I die. He means it. It's not just boasting. It's something he discovered about himself. Stepping onto that balcony. No problem. They'll come back. They always do. Seeing you approach, the bruised man raises his bear in welcome. Crazy motherfucker. Whew. Didn't think you had that fury in you. But I guess I've misjudged a lot of people lately. There I was, thinking, where are we gonna find a tent opener large enough for those cans? Then Capo Loco shows up and just sets a man on fire. Impressive shit, copper. None of us would be breathing right now if it wasn't for... I guess what I'm trying to say here is... Thank you. This is big. It's as big of a thank you as Titus Hardy can muster under any circumstances. Likewise, Copper. Likewise. Theo was old. I think he'd be pretty happy with the way he went. Never could imagine him withering away on a sickbed. But Angus... He was just a stupid kid. Didn't realize the mess he'd gotten into. Trusted me. Still, the balls on that kid went down fighting for someone else's shit like a fat, angry bear. Here it comes. The last one is the worst one. He only deals with it by drinking copious amounts of 8% beer. And Glenn, Glenn was my friend. Best I've ever had. I love that crazy homo like my own brother. We're all fucked without him. But what do you do? This job is shit. Dennis, that poor little rat is dead too. I always thought he'd run. But no, he stayed. Stupid, brave fella. He didn't like him. That only makes it worse. Well, yeah. Memento Mori. Right. Memento Mori, or Remember That You Must Die, is a slogan various religious orders have thrown around since the dawn of mankind to emphasize the vanity of earthly life and the transient nature of all earthly pursuits. In essence, it means one should live virtuously in this life to live better in the afterlife. Sure it does. Live every day like it's your last. Cause you might be dead tomorrow. I guess I'll take a closer look at our union members. 
There's bound to be some ambitious fellows there who'd love nothing more than advancing social democracy by busting some heads. Might even ask Tibbs if he's tired of replacing windows and maybe wants to have some fun with his brother. Anyway, don't you worry. As long as Titus Hardy's standing, there will be Hardy Boys. He's right. The numbers are replaceable. In an organization of thousands of men, there are plenty who join. Don't know. Don't care. I'll be glad if I never see that fucking woman again. Even after all that hell, he's still bitter about her? Nope. He did. He shrugs and tries to look uninterested. Judging by the sight of you, I'd suggest crawling into bed with a bottle of whiskey in one hand and a big tit in the other. Yeah, go pay Monica visiting Jangro. She's got a knack for making men forget about their worries. Biggest pair of milkers in all Rebacho. Hell, you both look like you could use some feminine company right now. Thank you for your advice, Eugene, and you too, Alain. I do always appreciate a good use of the expression milkers. It sincerely amuses him how hard these guys typecast themselves. You're welcome, Bina Clard. You're all right in my book. Take care, coppers. You two look after yourselves now. Death passed on you today, but men don't get that lucky twice. Copo loco. And the... Uh, ha. Huh, normal cop, I guess. Good luck in Chambro. Scars made the best tattoos, they say. Thanks for getting involved, guys. Not a lot of cops would step into that line of fire, but you did. And if you ever feel like the uniform is holding you back. I've got a few vacancies. You'd make one hard, hardy boy, copper. And Titus Hardy himself would make a good officer. That man was born to lead. I will, capo. That's a promise. Now scoot, cause the hardy boys got some morning and drinking to do. Take it easy on the drink. The danger has not passed. This town needs you on your feet. Good point, Bino Clard. We'll keep the vol under 12% tonight.